Hello my beautiful people, Jabalani Ori here, artist extraordinaire, back again with another video. So, this week we're going to take a look at one of my oldest paintings. When I say oldest painting, I, that sounds like it's like 10 years old. It's not that old. Um, the art I make, I want it to last centuries, right? So, um, this was made in, I think, 2018, 2019-ish, when I, when I first started um, Art by Jabu. So, this was actually the second piece, the second piece I made um, for, for my, my art company. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, um, so, before I get started on that, I would like to say thank you once again to all the wonderful people and beautiful people who have been sharing my stuff, who have been supporting me on, on uh, Instagram, on, 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 on TikTok. I have people everywhere um, and they all show me love. So I have to show love back. So without further ado, let's step over to the canvas. Okay, so Mercy, the peace of war. What was I trying to say in this painting? Essentially what I was trying to say or what I was trying to convey is the message of peace. So I came across this tribe. I, Cause so so what I was what I wanted to do with art by Jabu initially, right? And I'm still gonna do it, right? I, right now I'm just I just kind of switch focus a little bit, but I wanted to highlight the tribes of Africa and learn from learn through creating, right? I wanted to 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 make paintings about tribes I know know little to nothing about, and use it as a learning experience to learn more and to, to show how beautiful and inspiring uh, these tribes are. Now I'm currently working on the Orishas, the Orishas, because um, I want to uh, um, highlight the African pantheon, you know what I mean? I wanna, I wanna highlight African gods and goddesses. But anyway, that's a story for another day. So, Mercy, the War on Peace, all right? It, it, it showcases um, the Mercy tribe, right? This tribe is located in the Umu Valley of Ethiopia. So one of the things that I noticed while researching this tribe was every time or, or most times when I, I would um, research and, and, and see images of the Mercy, right? They would always be depicted with some kind of automatic weapon, you know? And the reason being is because this is a tribe that is mostly comprised of cattle herders, right? And because of modernization, they're losing a lot of their territory. So they have to pick up arms to defend that territory. So seeing that and reading that, um, it, it really kind of struck me to my core. So what I wanted to do was create a response, my personal response um, to it, right? To the situation. So I wanted to convey peace through the composition, through color, through through the gesture of, 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 of my subject's face. I hate how that sounds. It sounds so like artsy farsy, but that's how that's how you explain it. So anyway, um, so if you notice, right, the first thing you notice is he's looking towards the sky, right? And the reason why he's looking towards the sky is because he is he is inspired by the great beyond. So in the composition, I wanted him to have a look a a, a look of of um. Of, of like weight being lifted off of his shoulders, right? So that's why you can see, you can see um, through his, his through his facial expression, right? It's kind of he's kind of like not. Um, he he looks graceful, right? He looks like you know he, something just amazing just happened, and that's that's what I was trying to say. So, um, along with his view or the direction that he's looking in, I also wanted to make other things in the composition support the idea of everything flowing upwards, right? So his, his weapon is going upwards, right? I, I also wanted to um, use these st st stalagmite structures, these sharp, rugged, violent pieces of rock, right? And I wanted to, to um, this is another art word, juxtapose <laughs> it against um, uh, his organic nature, you know what I mean? Like, the, so in other words, I wanted to create some kind of contrast, right? I wanted to, him to have a lot of curves going on and that's the reason why I have his, his face paint curving instead of more angular, right? Um, also, you can see in his head adornment, a circular, 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 right? So, and, and in the back, you see like these these massive like boulder structures or or um, 
rock-like formations, right? And even down here, um, I guess in the background, in the, in the far, far background, I ha also have um, rock structures pointing to the sky, right? Uh, and another thing that I wanted to utilize was the use of color. So I wanted like blue to represent like peace, you know what I mean? Um, but I also wanted to uh, put brown in there, right? Because brown is, is cool because brown is like earth. It's like grounded. So that's why I chose to have here like be like more like a des desert type because I wanted to play around with that color, right? And I wanted it to kind of transition up to like this nice cool blue, you know what I mean? Um, another thing, yes, let's delete that layer. Another thing that I wanted to utilize was the use of light, right? So what I wanted was to have the light source, of course, be from above, because that's how we naturally view light or things being lit in nature, from, from top down, you know what I mean? So the light source, the light source is shining down, and what I like to do is use it to also create the sense of depth, you know? So clearly you can see these planets are like in the back, and I use the light source, the, the light coming from the light source to have this nice soft cascading shadow um, enveloping the planet in the distance, right? I also wanted it to hit things in the foreground, uh, middle ground and foreground too, right? So there's another planet here that also has that nice shape, um, that, nice shape that, that nice light also hitting it. But I had to be very mindful, right? So I had to... Um, make sure that that planet uh, sat behind the subject, you know what I mean? And the subject uh, himself also has that same uh, cascading light that's wrapping around the edge of his face, right? And not only um, that, it's also highlighting his head adornment, you see? So the same light source um, is used to highlight, right? And, and, and create contrast. So even the, the, these structures, um, these rock-like structures also share the same lighting. As you notice, the, this, this uh, stalagmite in the back is, has a lighter or softer light, light uh, impact spot or <laughs> has softer light hitting the bottom, right? And it has this harsh light hitting the top. And that's also to create the, the, um, the look of it being lit from above, you know? Another thing, that I wanted to uh, to do in this painting is um, actually have it so the bullets, right? Right? The bullets and the, and the guns to not necessarily all face upward, but the bullets to represent chaos, you know what I mean? So that's why I have the bullets kind of scattered and pointed every which way. Uh, one of my favorite bullets is this bullet right here, right? And the reason why I like that bullet is because it's sitting in the foremost foreground and it's pointing to the subject. That is intentional, right? Because I'm trying to get the viewer to, to, I'm trying to direct the viewer's eyes through the painting, right? Um, so it, 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 the, 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 uh, the viewer is gonna probably see this huge bullet and then it's gonna go upwards. Everything is going upwards. I'm trying to create that, um, that sense of peace and letting go and, and serenity, you know what I mean? Um, but, so, that's essentially what I was trying to say with this painting. Um, please, please, my beautiful people, head over to my store. Uh, I sell this and a lot of other paintings over there. Also, check me out on Instagram and on TikTok. Sometime, sometimes I actually stream on TikTok, so, yeah. Yeah, we get busy on TikTok, man. <laughs> but anyway, my beautiful people, I hope you have a wonderful one. Take care. One love. Peace.